need a booster shot to get in. KPIX 5 reporter Andrea Borba is at Chase Center tonight to explain how it will all work. Clay Thompson is back on the court for the Golden State Warriors, and if you want to watch him in person starting next month, you'll have to update your vaccination status. In the era of Omicron, you already need to show your vaccination card and ID to get inside Chase Center to see Steph Curry shimmy after hitting a shot from downtown. Starting February 1st, you'll need to show proof of a booster shot as well. For Pfizer and Moderna recipients, that means three doses. For Johnson & Johnson, that means two shots. The booster mandate from the San Francisco Department of Public Health is for mega events of over 500 people. President of the Golden State Warriors, Brandon Schneider, says Chase will be the only venue in the country to require boosters. A lot of, a lot of venues out there where you can walk in, no mask, uh, no vaccine, no test. Uh, here, you, you know walking in that everyone's vaccinated, and as of February 1st, everyone's boosted, um, which is really, really important for our fans to feel safe coming to events. Dr. George Rutherford from UCSF says it's the right move. I think that it's absolutely positively something that you have to have to be protected. Warriors are marking their 400th sellout in a row tonight, and fans packing into the arena say a booster mandate brings some peace of mind. You're like two feet from people, and they're all around you, and it's coughing and breathing. It's got to be germs in the air. It's a sense of... Um, like feeling protected and feeling like, you know, we're going to stop the spread of this virus. You'll need your booster at least one week before your event at Chase Center. To help folks get their booster shots, the Warriors are hosting two booster shot clinics January 25th and 29th at Thrive City. In San Francisco, Andrea Borba, KPIX 5.